Now, this isn't when you're just dating. This is when you start having a relationship with someone and it's called the reassurance exercise. So this is really one of the most powerful things I do with my couples. It looks like this. Every day, I do four hugs a day. Okay, that's another hack, you know, just you, you bring affection into relationship. Women need that. Men don't realize how good it feels until they start doing it for a while. And then because you know it's making her feel good, it makes you feel good. It keeps you more connected to being on your male side, doing something for her, pursuing her, and then feeling her reaction. Then you can be on your female side too. So you get both sides. This is the, it's amazing concept, but uh, about how, why men need women. We might cover that, but I wanna finish the reassurance exercise because this is why women need men, okay? Every woman, when she gets ready, they put on an outfit and they're thinking, what will look good? What will people like? How will I be best presentable? How will I look, be lovable? And you're married, you wanna be feel loved. I mean, you're. it's like, uh, if you've got a lot of money in the account, you're checking to make sure it's still there, okay? That's right. what love is. It's more important than all these people liking me, boy, my love. So it's the need for reassurance. Now, Bonnie, uh, for those that don't know, Bonnie's my wife of 34 years, and uh, she passed on five years ago. I'm I'm remarried now. But so this is with Bonnie in the very beginning. She would always say to me, John, I need reassurance. I need reassurance. It wasn't clear what she meant. I mean, one of the reasons we had a great relationship is she was able to communicate uh, in a way that I could hear. And I'm, I'm like thinking, what does it look like and whatever? And eventually I figured out this process and the process is, and, and I don't want to diminish women in any way in explaining this, uh, women needing reassurance. Men need reassurance in terms of we're success. We're always looking to what, what have I done? Am I, if you're happy, I'm happy. If you like the movie I brought you to, you go, that's a great movie. I go, yes, I wrote that movie. I directed it. You know, we're, we're looking for ways to feel successful. That's why, why? Because we need to make 10 times more testosterone than a woman. We need to make 20 times more testosterone in order to uh, be romantically interested in our partner. So it, that relationship has somewhere in it needs to bump his testosterone up. And somewhere in that relationship, it needs to bump her estrogen up. So when I get reassurance that I'm a success, and like if ever I'm talking and she says, oh, what a good idea, bump testosterone. What am I getting mm -hmm. at that moment? Reassurance. I say, oh, you know, explaining something and she goes, uh, what a good idea. Boom. Now she may be thinking it, but if she says it, it's much more powerful. All right. So right. now the, the flip side of this exercise, the reassurance exercise is for a woman when you're doing it, we're going to do the reassurance exercise. He says, good, let's do that. And then she says, or he could say, let's do the reassurance exercise. And she says, okay. In this exercise, she starts out by saying, do you love me? He says, yes. Now, then she says, how much do you love me? He says, with all my heart. And she says, do you still think I'm beautiful? Absolutely, honey, you're so beautiful. Are you happy to be dating me? Or are you happy to be married to me? Yes, I'm happy. I'm so happy to be married to you. Will you always love me? I will always love you. If I make mistakes, will you forgive me and not punish me? I will forgive you and not punish you. Whatever comes up. But those are the basics of do you like me? Do you love me? Do you have fun with me? Uh, do you want to, are you happy you're with me? It could be, do you regret being married to me? No, I don't regret being married to you. Because these are feelings that crop up in women that I've seen mm -hmm. every woman in counseling. Okay. So mm -hmm. I know they're mm -hmm. there. Some women may not be aware of it, but it's it's there. And who doesn't want your partner saying you're so beautiful? The problem is, as a woman, we all as a human being, we all have resistance to being loved. We want love, but we often have resistance. And if your husband just says, Oh, honey, you're so beautiful, a part of you goes, Yeah, but I'm getting older in your mind. Or, or he says, I love you so much. And she says, well, if you love me, why did you forget to do that thing for me the other day? It's like when he's pushing the love, there's resistance that can come up. But if she asks, there's no resistance. She has to take a, it's a leap of faith. It's a scary thing to do this exercise. And this is why you need to, you discuss it with your partner and all their answers will always be in the affirmative and no making jokes or anything. But this is a sweet thing that really makes her feel good. And now, how would you present this to the man? It's basically say, you know, honey, you're just so amazing. Sometimes I feel like, you know, 
you do so many things for me. <laughs> You're so amazing. I feel less than you. And I start feeling a little insecure. So this little exercise would help me feel equal to you. Again, you're always coming back to feeling equal. Now, isn't it interesting, even as I'm saying this, because I know some women are going, I'm equal to him. Of course I'm equal to him. Well, that's the whole feminist movement is we want equality with men. Well, why do you want equality? You know, you don't see men running around going, we want equality with women. <laughs> and you can right. have a response to that. But it's like, there's a place I want to feel equal. Okay. And so they're all like, who's getting paid equal and who's getting the, the reality is you're in a relationship you will start to feel not equal. And the way you deal with that is resentment. Whenever you're feeling resentful, you're feeling things aren't equal. See, you, th again, you need reassurance that things are equal. And so when you start seeing that it's not equal, you start feeling unfair, unjust, or you start feeling insecure, or you pump yourself up, or you do more to prove that I'm equal. So all that, whatever the reasons are, just try it out where you just say, every woman loves to have a husband say, you look so beautiful. Now, if you don't have a discussion and you said, honey, do you still think I'm beautiful? He said, of course I do. Why would you say something like that? Or if you say, do you love me? Well, why would you think I don't love you? Why do you, what did I do wrong? Why are we asking these questions? So the way you have to set it up is answer all those questions in advance and just say, you know, you're so amazing. I love you so much, but sometimes I feel like I'm not as good as you. I don't feel equal. That makes him willing to do this exercise. Okay. So, and so I, I need reassurance and it would look like this. It takes less than two minutes. Okay. It's a simple thing. Once a day, we'll do this. And one of the hugs, if you do the four hugs a day and one of the hugs, then you do the reassurance was, do you love me? Yes, I love you. How much do you love me with all my heart? Okay, that's the basics of it. And then whatever you want to add to it. Do you still think I'm beautiful? Are you still mad at me from the other day? We had that article argument. No, I'm not. You, you, you basically are getting reassurance that everything is okay. Now, there were other techniques of reassurance as well, which is if ever we had a, a little bit of an argument, I will always take a timeout. Very important biohack. Okay, you, if a man's angry and he talks, he will be angrier. This is what women have to all know. If a man is angry and he talks, he will only become more angry. Why? Because when you have a, connected to an emotion and you communicate, that emotion will just become stronger. His estrogen levels will go higher and higher. And for men, if estrogen goes high and his testosterone is not going high, then he will become, he will, he's in fight or flight. And if he's in fight or flight, she will be in fight or flight. There's no thinking, oh, well, you should try to be a good listener woman. No, you're in fight or flight, you can't listen. Nobody can hear another point of view when you're in fight or flight. So one of the attacks there is to take a time out until he feels better. And then he comes back to have the conversation again. He has, to, has an exit phrase, which is, honey, I just need to think about this for a while and then we'll talk tomorrow at noon or we can talk in a half an hour or we can talk next next Tuesday at our therapist session, <laughs> you know, whatever, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. You have to give her, I'll be back at a certain time, but it's better to have it a short time. And, you know, uh, you know, I, I just need some alone time right now and then I'll be done. And we can talk about this on Thursday with our counselor or whatever. You, you have to like give her a, a, a reassuring gesture that we're gonna come back and we're gonna talk about something. At the same time, he pulls away and she has to practice not looking at him like, what's wrong with you? Okay, you're not a loving partner. He's protecting you. And this is what Bonnie told me one time after I took my time out and then I came back in. She said, honey, thank you so much for protecting me from your dragon. Okay, mm -hmm. so I was getting thanked for walking out on a converse, heated conversation. That freed me up so much. So many men, when I tell this story, they go, yeah, that would be great. We always feel a little guilty that you know, we're starting to get angry and we walk away. That's what men do. And what we have to just add to it and we'll walk back. But when it came back, that was once again, we had a reassurance hack. Now in our relationship, when I came back after being a little grumpy, I come back and I would I would just stroke her head. That's what she liked. Some women go, I don't want to be petted. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, but you have to have something. We just come in and offer to do something. Show her that you're Mr. Friendly again. And in a relationship, when you understand Mars Venus, we as men have to work harder at giving respect for what women have to say. And why is that? Because women need to speak out because if they don't, they're suppressing. And if they have to suppress, 
and you're censoring her, so to speak, then what occurs is her stress levels will go up and her negativity will increase. So this is what men have to understand. For men, if I don't have to speak, so many men are quiet about stuff. We, we basically communicate through our actions. Okay, so our actions do our communication. And if I have negative reactions, I don't behave that way. I process my feelings for sure, but I don't have to go throw them on my partner.